Look at the top of your phone screen. Chances are that there's some sort of cutout for the camera there, but it wasn't too long ago when that area of the screen would just be covered entirely by bezel, housing the camera and other important sensors. But now, it's entirely screen, except for a small area where the camera sensors are. But these camera cutouts weren't exactly all alike. You see, over the years, different smartphone companies have come up with different design choices for how these sensors are housed at the top of the phone. Some brands have more sensors than others, which requires different types of cutouts to be used. So today, we're going to be looking over each type of cutout and what the benefits and drawbacks of each of them are. It may seem like a simple design choice to make, but there's actually a lot more thought that goes into these cutouts than you think. And before we get into explaining each of them, make sure to check if you're subscribed. I've been gaining a ton of new viewers lately, and you may realize that you're not actually subscribed. But anyways, let's talk about the very first type of cutout that started this all, the notch. This type of cutout was popularized by the iPhone X in 2017. It was Apple's solution to slim down bezels while still making room for important hardware like the front camera, face ID sensors, and speaker. Instead of taking up the entire top bezel strip, these components were put into a cutout that extended into the display. The notch quickly became a trend, with other smartphone brands adopting similar designs in their own ways. So what are some of the benefits of a notch? Well, for one, it allows for more screen space at the top of the phone, giving you a much larger, more immersive display compared to older designs with thick bezels. It's also a highly efficient use of space, housing essential components without adding any bulk to the device. On top of that, the notch became a recognizable design element. It gave smartphones a modern, distinctive look that set them apart from older models. But there are some drawbacks too. The most obvious one is that the notch can be distracting. While it maximizes screen real estate, and interrupts the display, which isn't ideal, especially if you're watching videos, playing games, or you just prefer a cleaner, uninterrupted display. Another issue is compatibility. Early on, many apps actually weren't optimized for notch displays, leading to the content being cut off or misaligned. Even now, not every app handles cutouts perfectly. But now let's talk about one of the first alternatives to the traditional notch, teardrop and pill-shaped cutouts. You might be surprised to learn that this design actually debuted on the Essential phone, which came out right before the iPhone X. While Apple's notch made headlines for its bold, wide design, the Essential phone went the opposite direction, opting for something much smaller and less intrusive. The teardrop notch is minimalistic by nature. It's usually just big enough to house a single front-facing camera, and that's about it. No extra sensors, and no additional components. This design quickly gained popularity among Android brands like OnePlus and Oppo because it offered a cleaner, less distracting look compared to the chunky notches at the time. So what are the pros of this cutout? Well for starters, the teardrop notch is a lot more subtle than a traditional notch. It blends in more seamlessly into the display, creating a more immersive experience for things like video playback or gaming. Plus, because it's smaller, it frees up just a little bit more space at the top of the phone screen, giving you that much more real estate to work with. But of course, there are cons too. Even though it's smaller, the teardrop notch still occupies a part of the screen, which means it's not a perfect solution for those who want a completely uninterrupted display. And because it's designed for minimalism, it can only house a single camera, which means no room for advanced hardware like Face ID sensors or additional cameras, which can limit the phone's features. The teardrop notch was a great compromise for a while, it was sleeker than most traditional notches, and it was still functional enough for most users. However, as smartphone technology advanced, companies started looking for other ways to shrink the cutout even further or move beyond the notch entirely. And that's when hole punch cutouts began to show up. The design was first popularized by Samsung with the Galaxy S10 series, and it's become a staple for many flagship devices ever since. Unlike notches, which are connected to the top bezel, the hole punch is a small, floating cutout that sits directly on the screen, either in the top center or tucked into the corner. The hole punch represents a big leap forward in smartphone design. It allows manufacturers to maximize screen real estate even more efficiently than notches. Instead of a large cutout that interrupts the top of the screen, the hole punch is a sleek and minimal solution, taking up only as much space as the camera lens itself. This makes it far less distracting and gives the display a cleaner, more modern look. So let's look at some of the pros. The whole bunch allows for a much more immersive viewing experience. Whether you're watching a movie or playing a game, that tiny little circle is far less noticeable than a notch. It's also really versatile. Brands can place it in the center for symmetry or in the corner to make it even less intrusive. 
The result is a design that feels futuristic yet practical and seamlessly integrates the camera into the display. But there are some notable downsides. Because the hole punch is detached from the bezel, it cuts further into the screen than a standard notch. This might feel like a drawback for some users, and like a teardrop notch, it's limited to a single camera, which means no room for additional sensors. Still, the hole punch has become one of the most widely accepted cutout designs, with it balancing minimalism and functionality. And for many users, it's the perfect compromise, but smartphone manufacturers weren't done yet. There were still more innovative ways to house the camera while pushing screen design to the next level. So let's move forward to the pill-shaped hole punch. It's an interesting evolution in smartphone design, and it was first introduced alongside the standard hole punch on Samsung's Galaxy S10 series. The pill cutout was initially used to house dual front-facing cameras and additional sensors. However, Samsung quickly abandoned it in favor for the simpler single-camera hole punch. But the pill cutout wasn't forgotten. Apple revived and reimagined it years later, using it to shift away from the notch, starting with the iPhone 14 Pro. The pill cutout on the latest iPhones serves a practical purpose. It provides enough room for multiple components, such as a dual camera setup or additional sensors, such as Face ID. Apple, in particular, integrated software to make the pill cutout feel even more functional. Their dynamic island feature turned it into an interactive part of the interface, displaying notifications and background activities. This clever use of software helped the pill cutout feel like a deliberate design choice rather than a compromise. So let's look at some of the obvious benefits of this cutout. For one, it allows for greater functionality than a standard hole punch. With more space, Manufacturers can pack in dual cameras or advanced hardware, improving features like facial recognition and camera quality. At the same time, it's less visually distracting than a large notch, blending better with the overall screen. But there are some cons too. The pill cutout is larger than a traditional hole punch, which can make it more intrusive on the display. And just like a hole punch cutout, it also extends further into the screen, which might be a drawback for some users who value an uninterrupted viewing experience. While Apple's Dynamic Island mitigates some of these concerns by integrating the cutout into the user experience, it's still a noticeable interruption for media consumption and gaming. But the pill-shaped hole punch is a unique middle ground. It offers the functionality of a notch with a sleeker design, especially when paired with good software integration. For brands like Apple, it's an example of how design challenges can be turned into opportunities for innovation. So that's pretty much every type of camera cutout explained. As we've seen, smartphone manufacturers have experimented with several different camera cutouts over the years, each offering its own trade-offs between functionality and aesthetics. From bold notches to minimalistic hole punches and dynamic pill-shaped cutouts, each of these solutions reflects a different approach to maximizing screen real estate while accommodating the need for more sensors and cameras. But which design do you think works the best? Are you a fan of the sleek hole punch, or do you prefer Apple's approach with the dynamic island? Maybe you're holding out for a future with no cutouts at all, just an uninterrupted display. Either way, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below.